Hey guys, it's Mel. I thought um, I had a lot of people request and private message me, um, and I thought I'm going to attempt to do a somewhat tutorial for this gift card that I made. Hopefully, I'm in frame. Um, I made this for my husband. Um, I got them. If those of you who didn't see the previous um, the previous video I did for this, um, I got him a gift card to a movie theater that we've gone to since we were younger um, for a movie that he wants to see that's coming out Christmas Day. So I thought we would do a quick reenactment of making it so maybe you guys can make it on your own. So starting with what I've done so far is I use, this is what the die looks like. It's by My Creative Time and um, it um, is a gift card holder die and it's pretty small. I use my cuddle bug. I don't need the extender plates for this, although it's pretty, it's just kind of barely cutting it. So um, that's that. So I, with my pure, I believe it was pure poppy paper tray ink, my favorite, favorite paper. Um, it's perfect match, pure poppy. And um, this paper I say is my favorite because it's so, oops, sorry. It's so thick and sturdy that um, it pretty much can hold up to anything, and it's great for card bases. I pretty much um, hoard it just for that, for like card bases or things like this, or like 3D projects. Like I don't use my paper tray ink paper when I'm doing Cricut cuts, because number one, it's kind of too thick and it doesn't cut through clean. So I kind of save it for that, and it really has been less in me because I kind of collected most of the colors. So anyway, so what I've done so far is I've cut out the gift card die, and then I used my Martha Stewart Cramps Embossing Stamp Pad, and um, I uh, I stamped that. But before I did that, this is one thing that I kind of passed by all the time, and I thought, do I need that? Do I need that? Although it wasn't expensive, so I don't know what the big deal was. But this is called like an embossing buddy or embossing pad. This one's by Recollections from Michaels, but I know Stampin' Up! has them, and I'm sure a lot of other brands. And I don't know if it's a bag of powder or what it is. That's what it kind of seems like. But you rub it on before you stamp your you stamp your image, so before you emboss it. Because do you ever see how it like sticks in certain places? And what I would do before, and I'm looking for my paintbrush. Um, I would just take a paintbrush, and of course I don't see it here. But I would just take a paintbrush and kind of go around wherever it doesn't belong. Wherever there's any powder that you don't belong. Because when you, once you heat set that, it's going to be there for good. But this one came out really clean because I used this first. Then I stamped it onto here and used my favorite Recollections um, Detail Embossing Powder in Snow. Um, it's really good for sentiments, but the fact that it's detail. So I didn't heat it up yet, so I figured I'd wait to do it for you guys. So this is going to get a little loud. So you just heat it up. There it goes. And you don't want to hold it too close, and just enough that it's all melted, and it gets nice and bright, and you can tell when it's done. So that looks good. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So that's done there. So that's all I did here. And then you can kind of, and it's already pre-scored, so let that cool and just be careful not to touch that. So then this is going to be the front. So what I did for the front is I basically took a piece of scrap paper, and this is literally a scrap. You see there's already, I used it to die cut maybe a 4th of July um, uh, layout. And then all I did, and you can use another color if you want to use yellow or movie colors, whatever you want to use. And all I did pretty much is I just kind of cut it like on a diagonal. And then you can always, um, let's say, I want to get the three stripes in there. So I kind of cut it, just cut it like this, and then I just kind of eyeballed it and just kind of cut it like a cross. So it doesn't have to be perfect, so it's just basically a triangle, and then you have your movie bucket. Now, you don't have to, like, you if you only had a tiny scrap and you only wanted to do this little triangle, I imagine you don't have to have both layers because you're not going to see them. But what I did is on the inside layer, I did a layer of pop dots, and I just put them in there so that way I kind of puffed this out for the popcorn. So once you have that, um, but before you do that, let's, what else, another thing I did this is also optional. You don't have to do it. I use my, just a Studio G. It's a white ink pad. Um, little ink, chalk ink. And I just kind of, really simple, went around all the edges. And I like this look, and I use this a lot. And this is just one of the little Studio G, little dollar spot inks. So, again, you don't have to have anything fancy or, you know, the special brands or whatever. But I really like this chalk ink because, as you can see, it kind of shows up nice and gives it a nice finished look. All right, so make sure we get around the edges this way. All right, so that's good. So you put your cap on there. 
so then it kind of gives it that look and now this is i got this from the scrap yard and this is like film strip um washi tape and i believe i got this from teresa the scrapbooking queen i think that's her name i'm so bad with names but um i'm sure you could find that or from another seller and all i basically did was i kind of just put it on roughly use my fingers even to rip it off and just make sure you're going over the edge and then get another piece um, just kind of eyeball it make sure it's long enough i'm going to rip that and then i just kind of did this just kind of sloppily not sloppily but you know what i mean in a diagonal and then make sure both both are sealed on and then i just take my scissors and i just trim out, trim off any extra on the side turn it around do the same thing on the other side and then you move your scraps out of the way okay so then we have the beginning of it so then once you do that you want to take your little popcorn die and we'll get our atg gun oh atg gun where are you and i tried to set up oh and here's my paintbrush when i don't need it anymore oh here it is hiding under my scrap paper okay all right here's the paintbrush i was talking about you can have any paintbrush but say if there was a cloud because usually if you don't use this embossing buddy there's like a cloud around it and you can kind of carefully go around each letter and just kind of dust off where you don't want the powder because once you heat set it it'll sh it'll look spotty and i don't like that so um so this is a good investment even if you use your coupon you could probably get one for like two bucks or so and um it's really worth it and try to remember to use it that's the hard part a few times i was like oh i didn't use that thing and you know so on the crap my crappy side um i just put the atg gun and we're just going to kind of close it like that then you're just going to kind of place it maybe like a little bit over you want to make sure you leave room up here for your popcorn um so let's move this over okay so once you have that so now you have your bottom layer and your open popcorn then just take a few little pop dots and just put them just right here in the opening you're not going to see them peel off your paper and i'm going to do one more in the middle um, these are teeny little pop dot squares i got them from the target dollar bin i think they were for like teachers so I don't know what they're for, but then you just use that to close it. Okay. So then use your finger, then that's sealed. And it looks a little 3D. It's probably hard to see, you know, on the camera here. But so then you have that assembled. Now, these are tickets. These are from a Jolie's. Um, I showed you the bigger popcorn that it actually came with, and it was way too big for that. Um, so I decided I was going to make my own and then it came with these tickets now it came with a set like this and this one So this is all I have left So we're just going to use that one and for that just simple and you could use any of your bigger tickets or whatever I just liked for my other one. Whoops So I'm just going to kind of There you go. Just kind of stick it. So it's kind of like hanging out any which way um, but I just kind of like this one because um, the gift card I got enough for obviously we both can go to the movies together so it's like two movie tickets that say admit one each so but you can do it however you like so now the fun part um, go over to Marilyn Fuller um, she's here on YouTube and um, she actually gave me the idea for this she used liquid applique and I got this on Amazon because um, it's hard to find in stores I checked my Michaels I checked my Joann's I checked um, AC Moore um, I even checked my Walmart craft section. They didn't have it, but it's called liquid applique and Although like I said, it looks yellow. It's this one's in white and they have all different colors But I you know just want to get the one I didn't want it to get too costly So um, because I probably would have went nuts So this is just in the white and what you're basically want to going to want to do and this is going to get loud with the heat gun is Kind of make the shape and I just started like randomly kind of make the shape of popcorn and this has a nice little thin I don't know if you can see that a thin little um like it's it makes it nice for like for applying it so see that there just go with that shape or you know all popcorn looks a different shape but i tried to like at least shape it into that and you're just pretty much filling in the area so it's almost like it's a glue you know liquid glue so there's the one there and then let me just do this for time's sake we'll do another shaped one um, just kind of eyeball it, have fun with it, and see, you know, what shape you think. So there's two. So we'll do two at a time here. And what you're going to want to do, this is going to get loud again, is take your heat tool. And you don't want to get too close because I wanted it to look like it was cooked, but you can actually, like, singe it. So you don't want to do that. So just hold it, like, a decent distance. 
and give it a minute and slowly move it around so it's not in one spot too long and you'll see how it changes and it puffs up there it goes and see how that see how it's growing and it's puffing up hopefully it, I, I would love to be able to zoom in right now but um, so yeah so it actually even has the feel of popcorn Okay, we'll start with that, but later we might actually toast it. But I just want to show you. So there's the start of the two. Hopefully I'm close enough to where you can see. So there's the start of the two. And then I just kind of build it that way. Is somebody at the door, Maya? Okay. I'm just kind of listening. She has her friend over. I want to make sure it's not her parents trying to get her. Who is it, Maya? Okay, so we're just going to fill in another one. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hear what's going on. Maya, is it Stephanie's dad? Yeah. Okay, help her out. Okay. So I'm just kind of going around, filling in the popcorn spots. Let's do another one here. Just like it's coming over it. Okay. Another one here. All right, so let's try and see what that looks like. Take your heat gun, do the same thing, give it a chance. Don't hold it in one place too long and you'll see it kind of puff up. So sorry if it's in the way, try to hold it to the side. There we go, it's starting to come together. So now I'm gonna kind of hold it to where it kind of there we go. It'll kind of do the corners a little bit and make them look toasted. There we go. Okay. So now that we've done that, and I'll show you there. So now it's just toasted. So now as you see, they're white. And you could definitely leave them like that. And just reseal because it might even hit up your pop dots. But just kind of reseal that. And this, once you see how, that, how they're a little toasted, then I kind of went in and did an extra step. And let me just put this little notch in there and then what I wanted to do was I took my you can take any pale yellow marker and this one's uh, CG1 and Spectrum Noir but um, and you don't even have to use an alcohol marker bye Stephanie um, you don't even have to use an alcohol marker but this is just what I have and then I kind of just went over all the little spots to make it look like buttery popcorn and you know you want to give it a chance to kind of a chance to kind of like um, dry a little bit because like right now it's still movie but it'll 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 get solid but it's still pretty soft like I was gonna try to see what I could use like I have puffy paint and I want to see I did a little trial to see if um, like using the heat con if this would do the same thing it just wasn't the same it wasn't the same feel it wasn't soft it wasn't as puffy um, so I'm glad I got the liquid app okay so there you see, um, I have a little popcorn. You could go ahead and do more, but I think that's, you know, good for what I'm doing. And the only other thing I did, the way I got this on there is I showed you guys, this is, um, this is just the basic thing that it came in. I cut it all up and up here it said Cinemark, which is our movie theater that we go to, but like you can go you could cut this off and just attach that there. And the only other thing I forgot is I did, um, ink around the edges of this, of this here. So that's pretty much all I did for the cover of this, and I just wanted to share that with you, how you use your um, applique. You could also, like Marilyn did, she did it on a, a cup of hot cocoa and like the little poof thing at the top, she used it on there. She also used it on Gingerbread Man because I guess she has the colors. I might have to invest in them in the future, but she has brown, which I think would be good. But I figured I'll start with white, and I'm having fun with it already, but you can even use the white for like the puffy parts of mittens, hats, a lot of wintry things, snowballs, things like that. So I think that would be neat or to represent snow. So I just want to give you a basic idea. I hope this tutorial was okay. Sorry for the mess and um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye guys.